Hello, I'm Luke Michael Howard, PhD and clinical hypnotist. And this video is really about the process of hypnosis, in fact, the leukinosis process of hypnosis. Traditionally, hypnosis has been known for suggestions. Essentially, you come in with a problem, such as you're a smoker, we give you positive suggestions of you being what you want to be, a non-smoker and happy and healthy in this example, and we give you multiple versions of that suggestion to program your mind, if you will, so you now have more choice, so you don't result to the old resort, to the old behavior. Now, it is successful. In fact, it's 30% successful, suggestion only. And that sounds not very much. But when you look at a study that was done by New Scientist magazine in 1982, it found that traditional talk therapies, it could take up to 600 sessions to even start to get movement away from a problem in comparison to suggestion only hypnosis which was six fortunately hypnosis has advanced so much in the last 30 or so years that we now have a thing called advanced structured hypnosis and this is what i practice and in fact i say hypnosis but that's not all that i do See, I do a form of eyes open and eyes closed hypnosis i bring other modalities of um, Kinesiology, such as muscle testing. I bring in modalities from neuro-linguistic program, which is really the cutting edge science on how our brain works to make changes. So typically, in a typical session with me, the first thing I do with a client is I have a screening call. And that screening call can be about 30 minutes long. And really the purpose of that screening call is for me to determine if I can work with the client. It's very much like an interview. And it's very much so, at the honestly, and I tell clients this, at the end of the call, it's really for me to say if I think I can work with you or if I don't think I can work with you. Now, I'd love to help you, but if I honestly don't think that we're on the same page or you're not ready, I'm also going to be very, very honest with you. So that's typically the uh, first interaction that I have with a client, potentially you. The second part will be that the client will fill out an intake form. It's private, it's confidential, only I see it. Now that intake form has many different questions and, and I ask clients to fill it out very, very thoroughly because based on the notes I made through the screening call and what they put on the intake form, that's how I start to structure and custom the session. So all that work's gone on before you even come into the office. Now, when you come into the office, I actually find out what you know about hypnosis because you might know a lot about hypnosis you might not know a lot about hypnosis but I explain what hypnosis is but also demonstrate what hypnosis is to you before we actually do the real work together so you know undeniably that you can be hypnotized and everyone can be hypnotized by the way three things need to be in place for you or anyone to be hypnotized those are Number one, your IQ needs to be above 70, which means if you're really, really not too smart, if you suffer from some kind of mental delay syndrome, hypnosis is not great for you. Number two, you have to want to be there, meaning you're not being bullied or conjoled by somebody, a family member, a friend to be there. You want to be there for you. And yes, those other people may benefit, but it comes from you. That's the second thing that needs to be in place for you to be hypnotized. Number three is you have to be able to follow simple instructions. So simple, in fact, that I've had five-year-olds that could do it all the way up to senile 80-year-olds that could do it. Simple instructions like close your eyes. If those three things are in place, absolutely you can be hypnotized because you're hypnotized multiple times a day. When you watch TV, when you listen to radio, when you read a newspaper, when you watch a good movie, when you read a book, when you're driving down the highway and you always take the same exit every night to get home, but one day you forget and you keep going straight. These are all forms of hypnosis that you probably didn't realize until then. So you already know how to go into hypnosis. My job is to help you to go into hypnosis better so you get to choose your trances rather than your trances choosing you. Then typically what will happen is after you've had that demonstration of hypnosis, we'll do some physical relaxation, which helps you to mentally relax, which coincidentally is the next step to help get you mentally relaxed to stop that hamster spinning inside your head. Then I essentially drop in suggestions, suggestions that are totally beneficial to you, to you living that new life, to you having resolution to that problem. 
And if we stopped just there, it would be 30% more successful than anything else you could do psychologically for the problem. But that's not where we stop. In fact, what the next step is, we do a form of, of, of therapy called parts therapy, which is very, very powerful. And the best way for me to describe it, and we can use this for many different types of problems. Again, I'm just going to use the smoker, for instance. The smoker comes in. There's one part of the smoker that wants to quit smoking. There's another part of the smoker that doesn't want to quit smoking. Because you see, if both parts want to quit smoking, they wouldn't need me. They wouldn't need anybody. They would just, you got it, quit smoking. If both of them wanted to continue to smoke or do their problem, again, they wouldn't need me because they'd be at home doing their problem. It's not really a problem. They've accepted it. It only becomes a problem when one part wants to get rid of the problem and one part wants to keep the problem. That's when everyone enters my office. And that's when we do parts therapy. Parts therapy is almost like negotiating between two neighbours, if you will. Now these two neighbours are not going to move. They're paid for their houses. They're going to be there forever. But they're both, they don't like one another. They're both, let's say, they play music very, very loud at 3am. But no one's moving and no one's dying anytime soon. So in parts therapy, I help to facilitate a negotiation between both those parts, the part that wants to let go of the problem, the part that wants to keep that problem, to eventually they realise they can come together, be harmonious, both be listened to, but then actually go their own separate ways in peace. So that's a very, very powerful thing that I do. Follow that up with a, a form of therapy called regression therapy. Regression therapy is very, very powerful. In fact, it's the best way for me to describe regression therapy. It's almost like if you're a fan of the 80s movie, Back to the Future. It's almost like getting in your DeLorean car and set in the year to whenever the problem first started and going all the way back. If you don't like that metaphor, just imagine getting on a magical carpet and flowing all the way back to when that problem first started. Consciously you won't be aware, although you think you will. But we go back unconsciously to when the very seed, the very seed, not the most significant event around that problem, but to when that seed was planted. So we can help you to get insight as an adult and not as the youngster when you first experience that problem once and for all. And going in with the insight of an adult and seeing through the view of an adult having that experience as opposed to the younger version of you. Sometimes things, oftentimes, just self-correct there. But we don't finish there. That's very, very powerful in and of itself. But then there's some other tools that I use with people. Tools such as forgiveness therapy. Of all the things I do, honestly, 20 years of learning all these cutting edge sciences when it comes to mind and transformation, probably forms of forgiveness therapy have proved to be the most powerful when it comes to working with clients. And really, really powerful. I don't just mean forgiveness, because forgiveness is never about making it right to somebody who may have wronged you. Forgiveness is about just letting yourself let it go so you can be happy and go on with your life without being angry or feeling guilt or whatever that negative emotion is. But it's not about forgiving the person who may still be on earth, they may have passed away. It's about forgiving that part of the person you carry inside of you. And also forgiving yourself, which is a very, very big thing that I've encountered with every client that has any kind of problem for 20 years, thousands is the ability to be able to forgive yourself. And I mean really profoundly forgive yourself, not just say it and pay lip service with your mouth. It has profound change. We then follow that up with things like future pacing, which is essentially your ability to go into the future, to use that time machine to go into the future, to see you experiencing situations in the past that had you, ex in the future, that if it had you experienced them in the past, you would have had the problem. But then you start to see, feel, hear and experience things going completely different. Now you've got new choices, new resources at the helm. I always follow up with clients as well. Some clients for up to two years to see how they're doing. And that really is the process of hypnosis that I do with people. Those are the very diff different stages. There's different stages with uh, people. There's so many techniques and abilities that I have. It's about me finding the techniques that I know that will work for you. And that all starts with our screening phone call and you filling out the intake form. So hopefully that gave you a little bit more insight to how hypnosis, advanced structured hypnosis works. Um, typically, if it's a smoker, it can be as little as one session. Uh, most other problems are generally up to four sessions to go through all those different levels to make profound changes. I've been Luke Michael Howard. If you'd like to book your free screening call, 
about a situation you'd like to overcome, then please do give me a call on 613-878-5874 and leave a message with my assistant when best to reach you by phone so we can start that ball rolling. I've been Luke Michael Howard, PhD and clinical hypnotist, and I believe that I can help you if you're ready.